Sowing those first seeds of spring is undoubtedly exciting, but seed starting mix can be costly, unless you make your own. Hi, I'm Ben Van Heems, and on this channel, we share the best tips for growing an easy, productive vegetable garden. Let's dive straight in. Now you'll still need to source the ingredients, but making your own seed starting mix like this will save you a lot of money and is often more convenient because you can mix just the amount you need. For our mix, you will need coir fibre or a coir brick, compost, either garden compost or bought in, perlite or sand, a large bucket, a spade and a plastic sack or container to store it in. This soilless mix is beautifully light and fluffy and all the ingredients are natural too, promoting good, strong growth and happy seedlings. Begin with two parts compost as your base. All parts are measured by volume, so it doesn't matter what you use to measure your ingredients so long as you're consistent. The compost adds slowly released nutrients to the mix, which will help to feed the seedlings as they grow. Break up clumps with your hands or, better still, screen or sieve the compost to get a fine, even texture. Now add two parts coir or coconut fibre. Coir is extracted from coconut husks, making it a sustainable, plentiful alternative to peat or peat moss. Extracting peat can damage fragile ecosystems and contributes to climate change, so we like to avoid using it. If your coir has come in a block, rehydrate it first by soaking it in water until you can easily break it apart. If you prefer, you could substitute coir for well-rotted leaf mould. The coir or leaf mould contributes bulk to the seed mix and it's great for moisture retention. Finally, add one part perlite, which will both lighten the mix and improve its air content. If you prefer not to use perlite, then you could substitute with sand, though it will give a heavier mixture. Use a spade or your hands to mix all of the ingredients together. Take your time and be thorough. You want a consistent mix, with all of the ingredients evenly distributed. Once you're done, store the starter mix in either a lidded container or in old potting soil sacks or any other plastic sack with the top rolled down tightly and secured. Store your mix in a cool, dry place. Moisten the seed starting mix before you use it so it's damp but not sodden. The mix can be used in plug trays, plastic pots, seed trays or flats like this or indeed any other containers suitable for seed sowing. Gently press down your seed starting mix as you fill your container, taking particular care to properly fill at the corners. Top up with more mix if required. Don't worry, this mix isn't easily compacted, so don't be shy about gently firming it down so there's enough mix for roots to explore. Sow your seeds according to the packet instructions, usually adding a little more of the mixture on top, then water. Watering requires some care, you don't want to blast the mix out of the container, so use a mister, a watering can fitted with a very fine rose, or make a watering bottle like this. To make one, pierce holes into the cap of a plastic bottle using a pin. Fill with water, screw the cap back on, and you're good to go. Once the seedlings have germinated, it can be easier to water from below. Sit your containers in shallow trays of water for a few minutes until you can see the surface of the mix is moist. Remove containers from the water once you're done so excess water can drain away. I'm sure you'll find this mix just the ticket for this spring's sowings. Once you've got the core ingredients, it's easy to make and will give your plants a really strong start. Please do share any seed sowing tips you might have down below, or for more seed sowing advice, check out this handy playlist.